Next in our model list is the wrought iron fence. And so I've opened up that model and we're going to go ahead and change the colors again. So we can go ahead and put those uh, individual three fence entries into a selection set. They're just three different heights. And then we can select our color for those. And this is going to be actually needs to be almost black. So I'm going to go ahead and use the 14 for this one. And we'll change those colors. And then we're going to create our first one. So we'll do our first insertion point and our first selection set, just like that. And we'll go to manage our next entry for our resource files. And if we go to select here, we'll do a print screen on this one for spelling purposes. And so we can create our three foot section Actually, that was a four foot section. Right iron fence, four feet. Okay. And then we will do the usual. So save, close, and exit. And then we'll set it for the next one. There's our insertion. There's our selection. This is our five foot piece. And then lastly is our six foot section. So we'll go ahead and create that one. six foot piece, we'll say okay to that. And we will save, close and exit. And that concludes updating the point symbols for the custom line style resource files for the three different sizes of wrought iron fences.